Hello and uh, good afternoon sa ating lahat. No? So maraming maraming salamat po ulit sa pagsama sa amin sa ating uh, September series. No? Alam ko po kakatapos lang ng ating webinar kaninang umaga. No? And uh, nandito na naman tayo sa hapon to, uh, to, uh, to, to learn more, no? to, to continue to learn and learn and relearn things. Okay, no? So for this afternoon, um, uh, I'm glad to... Um, to say this will be a, the, the final no the final installment for our September series it was supposed to be uh, supposedly last uh, it was saturday but it it got moved because of um, the problems with uh, with PLD no so and uh, we didn't want that okay but of course uh, wala naman tayong magawa those are the things that we are that's out of our control sabi ng kanina sa uh, earlier webinar there are things that we cannot control and uh, that those are the things that we have to manage no, to uh, to maintain our wellness okay so just um before tayo mag start okay, uh, of course uh, just like to recap na ito na po yung pang-apat so we've finished um uh the the, the other uh, C's of the four C's of 21st century learning so we've had uh, collaboration uh, critical thinking and creativity yeah, so this afternoon we'll be taking on the, the last one which is uh, communication okay and before we do that okay uh, maybe um, I'll be giving some uh, reminders first, no, before we proceed with um, with our um, our webinar for today. My usual reminders, okay, for our teachers, no. Um, so the first one is um, again evaluation link. No? Always a question of um, many teachers, okay. Uh, evaluation link will be given at the end of the webinar, okay. And uh, after answering the evaluation, your certificates will be sent via email in five to seven days. So teachers, let's not forget, uh, it's not your registration that um, will be used no, to generate your uh, certificates. Instead, it will be your evaluation. Okay, so please uh, do take note of that. Of course, expect um, uh, the certificates in five to seven days. Okay, so please do give us time, especially na right now, no, we, we have... Uh, overlapping events okay so we've had event in the morning we had event uh, yesterday and we're going to have event now so there are three events that we uh, will be producing and uh, generating certificates okay and um, so um maybe, uh, before we have our speaker i'd like to uh, give um, a short introduction um to our speaker to, uh, today which is actually a very close um actually a mentor okay for and it's uh, new into uh, into being a Google innovator and recently a Google trainer. So this is um, the person I've been looking up to as, as a model no, for um, um, training others then and mentoring others. Interesting uh, things okay, about uh, communication, um, tips, and uh, ways to improve communication in a distance learning modality. So uh, we have uh, today uh, Mr. John Gary Garcia, an EdTech coach and a consultant, um, Google for Education Certified Innovator, and Google uh, for Education Certified Trainer, as well as a Microsoft Office User Specialist. Okay, And uh, actually just uh, recently um, was, uh, was um, given the title uh, GEG Mentor, um, I think in the Asia Pacific, okay. So, um, the, uh, Mr. Sir Gary, as I call him, okay, uh, so much okay, not to share about um, his expertise in the field of um, applying technology in education, okay. And that's what we're going to have today. You know? how how do we uh, maintain okay, or develop communication despite the distance that we're having? You know? I think um, for the most part, this is actually the most. Um, this is the period okay, where, wherein we actually need communication because of the distance that exists us. But again, um, there's also that realization that uh, uh, given the distance, it's even harder now to communicate. But uh, as we've mentioned um, so many times, okay, technology could always be a tool for us to use okay, to uh, um, augment um, or uh, help us okay, um, still develop the skills of 21st century. Okay, So... Um, be it a critical thinking, creativity, or collaboration, and now communication, okay, um, that could still be addressed okay, amidst the pandemic. Okay, so let's now uh, all welcome our uh, speaker for today, who will be uh, sharing with us uh, today ideas, uh, tips about um, communication as uh, a critical 
component of 21st century learning. Okay, so welcome and good afternoon, um, Sir Gary. Yan. Okay, so Sir uh, Gary. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Yan. Good afternoon. So, uh, welcome po again. Yan. And uh, Sir, good afternoon and welcome again to uh, Kaagapay Teacher Support um, Webinar. And um, again, no, ngayon pa lang, Sir Gary, nagpapasalamat na po kami for um, for allowing us uh, or uh, giving us your time. We, we know you're so busy. Uh, actually, um, let me just share to the to our audience today, uh, there's like a back-to-back -back meeting that Sir Gary had to attend. But uh, she uh, he will be um, spending, spending no? uh, some of his time okay, with us today. And we are so thankful. Now, Sir Gary, um, maybe just to um, maximize our time and um, so as not to um, so that our, our audience also could uh, interact with you more uh, i will be yes. giving you the floor now um for your um, talk okay thank you sir gary thank you thank you thank you franco thank you everyone for joining us so napaisip talaga ako kanina habang inintroduce ako ni, ni, ni sir franco ako ba ang dapat talagang speaker dito sa about communication sa four c's ano um i am an educator uh katulad ng sinabi ni sir franco kanina but i'm not a linguistic uh, hindi ako yung natuturo ng english or any specific language you know i teach technology so napaisip ko kanina habang ni-introduce ako ako ba dapat talaga magsalita tungkol sa communication but then i realized when when uh, dealing with people, it's important for us to convey our message. So, hindi ako magaling sa English, ano? <laughs> hindi ako perfecto sa English, hindi ako perfecto sa, kahit sa Filipino, no? Nagkakamali-mali ako. Pero, merong, ano yung mahalagang bagay na ma ma mabigay natin sa ating, ma-impart natin. So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin yan. So, by the way, um, so I'm an educator, as mentioned earlier, uh, thank you, Sir Franco. I did not put in my slide yung pagiging GEG mentor, GEG mentor for ETA. Thank you. <laughs> um, now, later on, maybe after this uh, webinar, you can you may want to ask some questions. Uh, you can email me at gary at edtechandbeyond.com. You can also uh, uh, get in touch or connect with me using Twitter at jgarygarcia. Or you may also watch uh, or learn from me by... Uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel at EdTech and Beyond. My YouTube channel is not very, uh, not no editing. I did not do any editing in my video, raw video, raw video siya. So, huwag kayong maasa maganda yung mga video ko. But what I'm saying here is that uh, yung content ang mahalaga. Yun yung mahalagang gusto ko rin sabihin sa inyo ngayon. Kung bakit natin kailangan na hindi pagandahin. Importante yung pagandahin. Is isang factor yun. Pero, Paano natin, ano ba yung most important? We have to prioritize it. So, yun yung ginawa ko sa EdTech and Beyond channel. Now, so our topic is the four C's of the 21st century classroom. And uh, this is the last series. So, nabigyan na rin kayo ng talk about critical thinking, creativity, and collaboration. Now, we will focus more on communication. Um, not, I'm not very sure if you were given the background kung bakit sino yung nagsabi ng dapat ganito tong apat na to, ano? Um, there's a standard being provided by ISTE. So ISTE is this, the International Society for Technology in Education. So they give us a standard. This is according to study by, <clears throat> by corporate world, by the education sector, by the government. Uh, Google conducted the study. Together with Google, they conducted a study. So this is the result of the study. So according to the study, as teachers, we have to produce a stand, uh, a students who are empowered learners, uh, digital citizens, uh, knowledge constructor, innovative designer, computational thinker, uh, creative communicator, and global collaborators. So these are the things, uh, these are the qualities of students that we have to produce. If there are standards for students, there are also standards for teachers. And these are, oops, sorry, I, okay, hindi ko siya nabago, no? So these are for uh, for students. So maybe I'll just give the link for for the standards for teachers. Now um, let's go back to basic. What is the what is communication? So, uh, bakit nga bak mahalaga ang communication? Let's go back to the definition 
of communication. So basically, communication is imparting or exchanging of information by speaking, writing, or using some other medium. Yun po yung ididetali natin mamaya na konti. So successful conveying or sharing of ideas or feelings. So that's basically communication. When you're able to impart your ideas, your feelings, or you are able to uh, relay the message properly. So, mamaya po, ano yung ibig sabihin ng speaking, writing, and other medium, and yung sharing of ideas and feelings. So, this definition is by from is from Oxford English Dictionary. Okay, so, uh, let's start with the parts of uh, communication. Ano? Uh, bakit mahalaga yung parts ng communication? Kasi, let me go back to this one, the definition. When we say communication, it involves at least the following. You know? We have the sender, we have the message, and we have the recipient. Parang titignan natin, ah, simple lang naman, sender, message, recipient. But it may sound simple, but communication is actually a very complex subject. Kaya nga napaisip din ako, ako ba talaga dapat magturo nito, no? communication. But ayun, pinababawan lang natin, bababawan lang natin yung ating pagtalakay doon sa communication. So, uh, when I say a very complex subject, it means the transmission of the message from the sender to the recipient can be affected by uh, a huge range of things, ano? Medyo marami, malawak yung kung paano natin marerelay yung message. So, this includes our emotion, our cultural situation, the medium that we use to, co to communicate, and even our location. So, nakaka-apekto to sa pagbibigay natin o pag impart natin ng ideas o ng ating feelings. So, the complexity is, wa uh, is why good communication skills are considered so desirable by employees or around, uh, by employees around the world. Kasi kapag hindi marunong ang ating sudyante na mag-communicate o mag-relay ng message properly, ah, uh, medyo mahihirapan silang maka tumaas o bumanda yung buhay. Kasi uh, in everyday life natin, kailangan natin makipag-deal sa iba't ibang tao. So communication is very essential. So it, it has to be accurate, it has to be effective when imparting our ideas and feelings. Ano? So let us now continue with the parts of communication. Na-mention ko na rin ito kanina. Ito yung sinasabi natin na sender meron tayong message at meron tayong <coughs> recipient. So, kasi yung sa sender natin, uh, tayo yung sender. Kung tayo yung, ngayon, ako ang sender, I have a message, and then you are my recipient. Ano? Medyo mahirap kapag online kasi I don't see any reaction from my audience. I don't see any. The reaction is the feedback. That will be the feed, my feedback. Ano? Let me explain it further. So, when we say sender, the sender encodes the message. So, it usually is in a mixture of words. So it can be verbal, it can be nonverbal communication. And then it is transmitted in some way, for example, in a speech or writing. And uh, the recipient decodes it. So kailangan intindihin ng, ng recipient. Ano? So of course, there, are, there may be more than one recipient. Halimbawa, ngayon, nagsasalita ako, meron ako message, marami kayo nakikinig sa akin. The complexity of communication means that each one, each one of you in my audience in, in, who are watching right now may receive a slight different message. Magkakaiba kayo ng pagkakaintindi sa gusto kong sabihin. So two people may read, uh, read very different, uh, may read very different things into the choice of words and or body language. Katulad nung ngayon, kasi if affected yung pag -re relay ko ng message dun sa condition ko ngayon at saka sa body language ko. So it is impossible that neither of them will have the same understanding as the sender. No? So baka maiba yung pagtanggap nyo sa message ko sa inyo, yung gusto kong i-impart sa inyo, depende dun sa kinatatayuan nyo ngayon, kung, kung paano kayo nakikinig, kung nasaan kayo. So maraming factors nakaka-apekto dun sa pagtatransmit ng ating mensahe. So pagtatransmit ko ng mensahe ko para sa inyo. So in face-to-face -face communication, the roles of sender, of the sender and recipient are not distinct. So there are two roles. Will uh, it will pass and uh, it will pass back and forward between two people talking. You know? So ano ano ba tong mga to? 
So mag proceed na ako sa next one. When transmitting a message, we as I mentioned earlier, um, I encode the message using a medium. Ano? So the message, it can be verbal, it can be it can be written, it can be nonverbal, and it can be the use of uh, images. Katulad ng last time that in that session, pero uh, I think Adrian talked about creativity. So it's also important for us to be creative because whatever we use, which is our medium, will affect our message. So it will now depend on our medium and how I decode as a sender yung message ko para maintindihan ng recipient. So decodes the message. No? So the sender, uh, um, ano yung mga factor na nakaka-apekto sa uh, communication? So factors affecting communication, we have our emotion. Kasi depende sa tono natin. Ano? Kung, kung malungkot yung tono natin, ayan, or nakaka-antok yung tono natin, or masaya ba ang tono natin, nakaka-apekto yun dun sa pag -re relay ko ng message sa inyo. So our cultural situation, lalo na ngayon sa sitwasyon natin, our, the medium that we use, ano, kung, kung slide deck pa yan, kung video ba yung ginamit natin, kung image pa yan, at kung nasaan tayo. So very important lahat ng ito kasi may epekto ito sa when we impart our, uh, our message to our recipient. So communication is simply the act of transferring information from one place or a person or a group or a group to another. So transmission of the message from sender to recipient can be affected by a huge range of things. Ito na yung mga sinabi ko, no? So kanina nakita natin do sa message, meron siyang iba't iba, no? Meron yang ano ba yung categories ng communication? When we say categories of communication, it can be verbal or spoken or in writing, non-verbal or visualization. Ano? Pag sinabi nating verbal, ito yung face-to-face, nag-uusap tayo, no? hindi katulad ng ginagawa natin ngayon. Um, yes, it can be face-to-face, -face, pero medyo hindi ko nakikita yung reaction nyo. Kasi when I say spoken verbally and yung face-to-face, uh, <clears throat> pwede rin nakikita ko agad yung, uh, yung, yung reaction nyo or hindi. Katulad ngayon, hindi ko ko nakikita. Or pwede rin namang telepon na lang, ano? pwede rin internet. Or non-verbal. Pag sinabi natin non-verbal, yung, yung mannerism natin, ano? yung ba, nag kabado tayo, may mga mannerism yung ibang tao na halimbawa nag nasa stage. Uh, one step forward, one step backward. Yung mahilig na kumaganyan-ganyan. Kasi... Ano eh, mannerism na yun. So, it also conveys a different message. Ano? So, pwede yung sabihin, ay, hindi ito believable. Ay, hindi ito confident. Ay, para hindi niya alam ang sasabihin niya. So, yung mga non-verbal communication natin, it also affects the way we say things. So, yung written naman, ibang, ibang ano naman yan, ibang usapan naman yan compared to a verbal kasi kailangan malinaw lahat ng words na gagamitin natin. So, Written communication includes letters, pwedeng email, pwedeng social media, yung mga posts natin sa sa Facebook or sa sa Twitter or kung saan mang medium ano. So it also affects kung paano natin na-relay yung message natin. So aside from mga uh, uh, verbal, written and non-verbal, na tayong visualization. Ito naman yung use of graphs, logos, pictures, to to visualize our message. So napakahalaga ng mga 'yon kasi it uh, kung hindi naman natin mai-explain, no, nang mabuti. Pag meron tayong magandang image, pwede niyang pwedeng maintindihan ng recipient natin. Uh, kapag written, combine dapat 'yan with with uh, visual kasi uh, wala ka doon para i-elaborate 'yon. So when, when you write things down, it has to be it better if it's with visual, with pictures. Kasi uh, sometimes, depende dun nga sa recipient natin, hindi nila agad maiintindihan yung sinasabi natin kung wala tayong picture. Kasi sometimes, yung picture nag enhance ng message natin. Okay? So, yun. Now, alimbawa, itong, uh, itong mga slide deck natin, pag magtuturo mag tayo, hindi naman kailangan lahat ng words na doon. Kasi magbabasa na lang yung estudyante. At pag na-overwhelm yung estudyante sa dami ng text sa, sa ating slide, 
hindi rin maganda dahil sa nawawala yung engagement nila kasi ang dami naman so sabi ang dami nang babasahin so pwet, baka ma-boring estudyante kasi pwedeng magbasa na lang sila wala na si teacher no so yan so when we transfer uh, so ano yung ano ba yung goal natin sa sa pag-communicate so ano yung goal ng communication basically is to transfer the transfer of message with mutual understanding or kung naintindihan ko ba naintindihan ba ng recipient yung sinabi ko according the, the way i want them to understand it kasi nga merong iba't ibang factors na, na makakaapekto sa pag-transfer ng message ano so halimbawa ang gusto kong sabihin masaya ba kayo yeah. so, so pwede ang dating sa inyo ano ba yon tanong ba yon or statement ba yon so pwedeng magkaroon ng dalawang meaning yun. or yung iba naman di ba ay but kaya siya ganun parang parang sarcastic so meron mga ibang meaning ano so depende yan kung paano tayo nagsasalita at kung paano ang tono natin so ano ba yung process ng communication na sinasabi ko kanina so medyo i-visualize ko naman siya ano ngayon kanina puro text lang at saka salita ako ngayon medyo <clears throat> linawan natin ng konti so yung nasa left side yung color green tayo yung sender no so yung meron tayong message tapos kailangan nating i-transfer yon sa ating receiver by encoding it using a medium yung medium natin o yung channel natin ano bang gagamitin natin a uh, picture ba video ba so di makaka makakatulong yon o makaka o baka magulo yon depende kung paano din i-decode naman ng ating receiver so Tayo, bilang sender, meron tayong message, i-encode natin yan. So, anong gagamitin natin? Iyon yung channel natin. Ano? Yung channel natin, kung anong gagamitin natin para ma-convey natin. Pwedeng, pwede nga siyang image lang or pwede siyang video. Tapos habang ginagawa natin yun, uh, so na-encode natin siya doon sa channel, yung receiver naman, i-decode niya. Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Ano yung ibig sabihin ng pinalabas? sinabi o nabasa niya nabasa sa isang sa isang sa isang written or sa isang video na mayroong text kanya so i-decode naman niya now yung sinasabi ko kanina hindi ko kayo nakikita ngayon mahalaga sa akin na malaman ko sa inyo na naiintindihan niyo yung gusto kong sabihin so that is in a form of feedback so paano yung feedback na yun pwede namang sabihin uh, pwede namang mangyari gawin niyo sa akin Yes, naiintindihan ko 'yon. It's a it's a direct feedback na uh, sasabihin niya, yes, naiintindihan. So, babalik sa akin ngayon 'yon. Ide-decode ko. Ah, okay, naiintindihan pala niya kasi sabi niya, yes, naiintindihan. Pero hindi enough 'yung hindi enough 'yung yes, naiintindihan. So, ano ang naiintindihan mo? Paano mo naiintindihan? Mas confident ako ngayon na naiintindihan mo ng gusto kasi kung paano mo sasabihin sa akin at iyon din ang pagkakasabi ko kanina or iyon din yung gusto kong sabihin yung tipo nag do you agree with me yes how do you agree ano yung naintindihan mo mas magandang feedback yung detalyado ah uh, kanin um during one of the uh, the innovator academy yung pinaparepeat i don't know franco uh, kung mer- merong activity doon na you are asked to repeat what was communicated to you ano so iyon yung to get the feedback kasi baka may ginamit na words na iba ang meaning magkaka- baka magkaiba na kayo ng ibig sabihin baka may misinterpret na ang inyong gustong sabihin so it's important for the sender to receive feedback so everything will be clear na tama yung pagkakaintindi ano yan so ito yun naman yung visual presentation ko of what communication is Pero kung mapapansin nyo, doon sa gitna, merong barrier. Anong ibig sabihin ng barrier doon? Kasi doon nagkakaroon ng usual, doon nagkakaroon ng uh, yung effectiveness ng communication o may mga hindrances sa isang communication. Bakit hindi naiintindihan? Because of the barrier. So let's just talk now about these barriers in communication. So, so maraming, ano yan, maraming, maraming factors kung bakit tayo nagkaka miscommunication let me give you the list kasi halimbawa use of jargon nako ano ba yung word na yon hindi ko naman maintindihan hindi ko alam yon napakalalim very or very technical ano 
So isang isang uh, barrier 'yon para hindi maintindihan ng inyong audience yung um, gusto niyo sabihin. Another one is the emotional barrier. Yung um, sometimes it's difficult for people to express themselves. Yung hindi magaling sa words. So yun yung uh, yun yung hindi makapag-express ng salita. Okay? Another one is lack of attention or interest. Oh, sorry, may typo ako doon, no? Ta- uh, interest yan, no? hindi interest. Sorry. <laughs> so lack of attention or interest or distractions, or irrelevance to the receiver. Kasi baka mamaya hindi naman interesado, kaya walang attention, or depending nga sa mood nung, nung, nung di ba, ngayon, inaantok kayo, so baka hindi niya maintindihan yung sinasabi ko. Kasi minsan, pag inaantok tayo, no, wala tayo sa focus, hindi natin naririnig yung ibang words, nagkakaroon na ng gap. So yung gap na yun, because of attention, interest, or other distraction, ano? So, yun yung mga bagay na makakahinder sa atin para makapag-convey tayo ng message natin. Tapos, ito pang isa, difference in perception and point of view or viewpoint. Uh, kasi, minsan, uh, uh, iba, iba yung pananaw ko, iba yung pananaw mo. No? Oh, baka naman nang dating sa'yo, ganito. Pero sa akin, hindi okay lang. So, sa ibang recipient, magkakaiba na, ano ba ako, may sinasabi ngayon, marami kayo nakikinig, Uh, yung iba pwedeng mag-agree sa akin, yung iba pwedeng hindi mag-agree sa akin because of our perception and point of view. No? So, ayan. Another thing is um, uh, physical disabilities. Okay? Kasi physical disabilities meaning baka may problema sa pandinig. Ano? Ayan. Lalo na tayo ngayon, madalas tayo online, baka masyado malakas ang ating earphone. Uh, masisira yung ating eardrum o nagiging immune masyado, parang zzz, buzzing sound na lang. So, minsan, nakaka-hinder yun for us to understand the the message or the the content, of the, the speech of a person. So, physical disabilities. Another one is physical barriers to non-verbal communication. So, not not being able to get yung non-verbal cues kasi nga yung mga movements may ibig sabihin niya no merong yeah it means wait pero hindi na kailangan sabihin wait lang yeah so pati yung mga intonation natin so may ibig sabihin lahat yan pag nagsasalita tayo no another one is language differences ah uh, ito yung medyo uh, mahirap kahit sa atin dito sa Pilipinas ako, Tagalog lang alam ko. Wala na ako ibang alam na dialect, kundi ambot, no? Sa Bisaya. Pag, kapag hindi marunong magtagalog, syempre, hindi ko maiintindihan yung message sa akin, ano? Uh, kailangan ko ng translator. So, lalo na kung makikipag-usap naman tayo sa ibang lahi, um, <clears throat> yung English natin, iba sa English ng ibang bansa, ano? Uh, alam bawa, yung English natin, Iba sa English ng, nasa, ng national sa Singapore, ng mga taga-Indonesia, ng mga Malaysia. Bakit ganun? Kasi iba-iba tayo kung paano nag-evolve yung <coughs> English language language sa ating bansa. So, merong, merong mga language differences yan. No? So, sabi nga, nung nagpunta ko sa isang lugar, nahihirapan daw yung mga audience ko na intindi yung English ko. I went to a country na hindi sila talaga fluent sa English. Ang sabi sa akin ng kaibigan ko, yung nag-invite sa akin, barokin mo ang English mo. Barok English. Yun yung sabi sa akin. So, nagkaintindihan kami. <laughs> so, mga keywords lang. Hindi hindi tayo kailangan mahigpit dun sa paggamit. Kung paano natin natutunan yung English, we have to adapt to the different uh, uh, culture and how they use the English word. Tapos, so, yun yun, no? so, language barrier or the language differences. And then, meron tayong mga, another barrier is the expectations and prejudices. Kasi meron tayong nasa sa loob na. And, hindi, hindi. Meron akong sariling opinion. Kaya, I mean, kadalasan, hindi tayo nagkakaintindihan. And also, the cultural differences. Kasi, our movements, for example, when you visit another country, uh, it will depend on how you behave on that particular country 
kung paano yung movement natin. Kasi sasabihin, ay naku, napakabastos naman yung taong to. Kasi sa ibang bansa, kailangan nagbabaw ka o hindi ka nag-speak sa kalsada. So, cultural differences yun, no? para ma-misinterpret tayo. So, kasi ang communication, it can be written, it can be verbal and non-verbal. So, yun yung mga bagay na kailangan natin tandaan when we speak. We have to consider a lot of things when we talk. No? Yun po. So, yun yung mga barrier na sinasabi ko kanina with regard to the one in the middle. Kung sa paggamit natin ng channel natin, ano yung ginamit natin, maraming pang makaka... may mga balakid para maintindihan ng ating receiver yung ating message. No? So, yan yung mga yan. So, now, how to be an effective communicator. Uh, ito lang po yung mga tip na may bibigay ko sa inyo. No? So, understand you should understand the audience, understand their audience. So as a, as an, as a communicator, to be an effective communicator, or if you, you can say that you are an effective communicator if you understand your audience, okay? Uh, kasi ano pa ang silbi natin kung nasa harapan tayo ng isang pagpupulong na hindi naman tayo naiintindihan ng ating audience. Isang bagay yun ang malaki. So para masabi natin, successful tayo sa talk natin. Use an, appro an appropriate <coughs> communication channel. So, sa mahalagang bagay, <coughs> yung gagamitin nating channel. Na sinasabi ko kanina, pwede yung brochure, pwede siyang printed material, pwede siyang verbal, pwede siyang non-verbal. Kasi kasama nga yung ating body language when we uh, when we speak, you know, and holds their message. So, you emphasize your message or you you explain further, you know? Encodes the message to reduce misunderstanding. So, ayan, ito po yung mga bagay na kailangan ko yun. Send out feedback, correct any confusion. So, ibig sabihin, when we, when we try to impart something, we have to make sure na we, before we impart something, pwede tayong mag-practice. Yun yung, yun yung isang way para ma-reduce ma yung misunderstanding. We practice. Or you, parang ibigay mo or i-pitch mo or i may trial ka. Alam ba ako, pag mag-speech ako, sasabihin ko, sasabihin ko, pakinggan mo na, ano, ko, na, mali na ba yung message ko na to? So, ibibigay ko sa kanya yung line. So, pag sinabi niya, magbibigay siya ng criticism sa akin. So, constructive naman yan usually. So, I acknowledge kung ano man yung sasabihin niya. So, para, para ma-improve ko yung sarili ko on how will I relay the message. And then, Let's say, meron, uh, you, you, ayun yung sinasabi ko ngayon, we seek out feedback. So, how do we seek out feedback? By asking the audience or yung target audience natin. And then, you have to correct if there are misunderstanding right away. Para malinaw, at before before you, you part ways, malinaw ang message ninyo, naintindihan yung message ninyo. Yun yung mahalagang bagay when we talk about communication, no? So, maganda kung maganda tayo. Magkaroon tayo ng sample. Sir Franco, sumama naman ako dito. Sir Franco, para mas interactive. Ayan, technological barriers can also affect communication, especially in this time of online classes. <laughs> Ayan, signal for internet connection at maraming pang iba. Very true po yan, Sir Espeleta. No? Um... My my greatest challenge when uh, conducting classes now, kasi nag-class na po kami, ano, is I cannot really build a relationship with my student because naka-offline sila. Naka, uh, hindi ko makita yung reaction nila. It's very important for me. When I'm inside the classroom, I can see the faces of my students and I can see their reaction when I talk. Ito yung malaking bagay na nawala dahil sa online classes because I cannot force my student to to be online all the time kasi they have bad internet connection so audio lang so hindi ko naman sila pwedeng pilitin no? Sir uh, Sir Franco wali ka dito sumama mo ko meron tayong example <laughs> para interactive tayo no? so sir meron akong ipopo ito ay mga galing ga, konti lang naman to galing ito sa email galing ito sa isang Google Classroom uh, ng mga nakita ko, no? So, tingnan natin. Sir Franco, sige nga. What can you say about this email? Binula ko, syempre, yung email address, ano? 
Ito ay hindi ko kilala yung sender. <laughs> hindi ko kilala yung sender. So, ikaw sir, anong anong sa palagay mo? Pag makikipag-usap ka sa kah- sa hindi mo kilala, 'di ba? Meron tayong standard na dapat pina-follow. Number one, when we communicate with people that we don't know, kasi marami nakakalam ng email address ko, no? Number one, we have to be polite, ano? Tapos when we talk about I sir, Franco na ka, ano ka, naka ka. And when we use uh, when we use email, make sure that we have number one subject. Kung so, una nawawala ang subject dito. Pangalawa, since stranger yung nag-e-email sa akin, kung alam mong stranger ka naman, no, biglang mag-email ka sa yang sa isang tao kahit na hindi email, kahit na sa Messenger ano, magpakilala ka. <laughs> Di ba magpakilala ka? Mag-greet ka man lang ano. Tapos ayan lang, ito yung lang yung email sa akin. Interested po sa G Suite. Paano po magkaroon ng ganun? Thank you. So, yeah, very much, sir Gary, no. Lalo na ngayon kasi primarily ang communication lines natin ay via, via email, no. Sa so, tama email. po. Yes, tama sir Gary. Should have the subject kahit yung body. Uh, kasi yung subject tells already the recipient what what the email is all about. Kasi yeah, lalo yeah. na Sir Gary uh, receives like uh, so many emails <laughs> a day <laughs> and you're receiving a no subject. That's one what's that's one very bothering sometimes or sometimes pwede yang matag as a spam or pwede yang classify as a spam. Uh, oh. so in sa so, yung tama Sir Gary na yung yung body should always have like uh, a greeting and uh, sa dulo dapat may signature ka kung sino ka. For example, pakilala ka man lang ay yung Franco Nicolo P. Adun from Savior School, something like that. Oo, oh, oh, yun 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 Kasi ay, parang okay. sa madami ng talk ko eh, hindi ko naman kabisado lahat ng talk ko at kung saan siya nag-attend, ano? So sana bigyan mo mm-hmm. lang ako ng backgrounder. Interested po sa GC. Paano pa magkakaroon ng ganun? <laughs> So, so parang, uh, uh, saan ka ba nag-attend? So, mag- mag-iisip pa muna ako bago ako makareply sa kanya. So, hindi eh, pa sana kung kilala ko siya, no? Eh, pero wala ako totally, hindi ko siya kilala kung saan kami nagkita o saan niya ako nanonood. Isang bagay yun, no? Let us be polite. We, eh, hindi eh, lang good day, good afternoon, good morning. Ayan, interested po sa GC. <laughs> Ka very important reminder to sa ating mga students. Okay, lalo yeah. na yung mga, sa mga teachers natin. No? Uh, ito, uh, ito, Sir Franco, teacher ito, nag-send sa akin. Kaya parang, okay, sige. Ito, isang sa example pa lang yan. No? So, ito ay sa email. Let me give another example of a post in a Google Classroom. Sir so, Gary, yes. uh, excuse me lang. I-welcome ko rin lang pala yung ating uh, moderator, no? si Sir Jambi. Uh, may engagement Ay, lang siya kanina. Late lang ng konti. Oo. O, saan yan ako dito para mas maganda. May kausap naman ako. <laughs> Sige po, so, sir. Uh, next example ko. So, what can you say about this announcement in Google Classroom? So, I think, uh, so, good PM. Please prepare a rosary starting tomorrow for the month of rosary, October. I'll be signing a So, eto na siya. Andun yung mga names, yung mga binuro ko yun. May mga line yan, mga names yan, ano? Um, take note, we are teachers. Number one, we don't shortcut things. Hindi, ka, hindi naman siguro ngayon 33-10 yung ating phone na wait, kailangan natin magtipid kasi piso lang. Bawat text natin, piso. Ngayon naman, unlimited na, no? Pangalawa, this is Google Classroom. One to sawa ang text dyan, no? As teachers, we have to give clear cut instruction so good pm sana good afternoon or good evening ano that's another observation ko dito plus use proper capitalization please capital p di ba tapos natataka ko bakit dalawang dot alam ko isang period lang dalawang period lang gamit niya oh, kasi consistent siya ayan tapos hindi siya gumagamit ng period tapos nga yung please be guided accordingly Thank you. Yung capitalization. Awan ko, siguro OC lang ako. <laughs> sir, Jambi, <laughs> sa palagay mo. <laughs> De, actually, sir, ano, uh, naniniwala naman ako, sir, dun sa sinabi ninyo kanina na. Uh, siguro as teachers, kailangan lahat ng bagay as much as possible, teachable moment. Yes. We understand naman why uh, some people would opt to shortcut things. Pero, kasi yung ginagawa natin, nakikita ng mga students 
So, kailangan alam nila muna how to do it properly. Properly. Decide on their own to shortcut things, to shorten okay. things, etc. Kasi we are setting an example. Ito lang yung gusto kong sabihin dito. We're setting an example. Kapag hindi, hindi naman sinasabing mali ito, no? Pero we're not setting a good example for our students. Kasi instruction to, announcement ito ni teacher sa mga estudyante. Ah, uh, yun. So, yun, no? Isang bagay yan. Another example pa, Sir Jambi, ito pa. Ayan. So, good evening po. Siguro sa akin, next line na yung remind ko lang po. Ayan, shortcut na yung lang, no? <laughs> na pakisagutan yung introduction, ganyan, ganyan. So, huwag tayo magsha-shortcut kasi ang problem sa shortcut, hindi na, kahit Tagalog man yan or English, hindi na alam, nag- nagkakaroon tayo ng, yung, yung sa spelling, yung hindi na alam ng estudyante yung tamang spelling kasi kaka-shortcut yes. natin. So, if we are in the educational community, we have to provide them, we're setting a good example, we should set a good example. So, we have to do things properly. Correct. Ito lang yung ang sabihin dito, yung capitalization, yung shortcuts, wala dapat yan. Yeah. Saka sir, uh, ano naman, uh, yes, sir. We, we are in a platform na nire-remind naman tayo mismo nung, ano, nung Google na you misspelled yeah. the word. Oo. Oh. Uh, <laughs> etc. Oo. Yung magkakaroon ng red wavy line yan kasi yeah. ano yan. <laughs> diba? Mamaya, bibigyan ko kayo ng tip kung pa- So, siguro, ito lang. Siguro, I hope baka maraming magalit sa akin ano <laughs> uh, very particular po kasi ako doon sa mga ganito na kasi ang gusto ko lang naman bilang magulang po ako pa yung may dalawang anak na ano gusto ko yung matutunan ng anak ko sa kanila mga guro ay yung tama no so medyo mahirap siyang gawin kasi nasanay tayo doon sa shortcut natin tapos tapos hindi dapat ay right, dapat mag shortcut so Mami, bibigyan ko yung tip kung paano. So, para hindi naman sabihin nagre-reklamo lang ako. <laughs> okay, another one pa. No? So, halimbawa sa social media, uh, we are educators. So, what can you say about this comment in Facebook regarding an educational video? So, meron, kasi ngayon, ang dami ng, may mga teachers, katulad sa GEG, you know, marami guma, sa Google Educator Group, uh, other teachers are trying to help other teachers by creating instructional video. If not instructional video, tutorial video. And this is a comment uh, on one of the uh, educational video na ginawa ng isang, ng isang guro, no? Ang sabi lang niya, this is the worst ad that I've ever seen in seven months. So, siguro, merong, meron lang promotion ng konti. Eh, kasi, alamabawa, hindi, hindi ba natin pwedeng sabihin na uh, <clears throat> Globe or Smart or kung ano mang network yan, ano? Or kung ano mang provider yan. Now, sa akin, kasi ang comment na ito ay galing din sa isang guro. Correct. No? So, kaya parang, ang sa akin, importante yung values na tinuturo natin sa mga bata. Yung setting an example means, if, ako naniniwala ko dun sa, if you have nothing good to say, don't say it at all. So now, if you're, ito yung sinasabi natin sa online, we, we, would like to, uh, we would like to teach our students to be a good digital citizen. Hindi tayo dapat nambabash. So this is one example of pambabash, ano? To an, to an educator. So, eh, kaso nga lang, ganyan talaga, iba't iba pinanggagalingan natin. So iniintindi na lang natin sila. Pero yan lang yung mga example na sana hindi ginagawa ng mga guru. No? Oh, I agree, I agree, sir. Yan. So ito pa, Malba, uh, kamustahan lang, ano? Pwede tayo, how are you today? Ang sagot natin, kadalasan, I'm okay. But it doesn't really say a lot. Yeah. You can say, I'm good. Kasi ano ba yung okay talaga? No? Kasi namihasa lang tayo. Ayun nga, namihasa tayo sa shortcut. Namihasa, okay. Let, let okay. okay lang. <laughs> okay, iba nga, K lang, ano? Parang, okay. ano ba yun? <laughs> K lang, ano? So parang, uh, okay. Okay. It says a lot of things then, no? Kasi kapag K lang yan, parang ang tamad. Di ba? Ang tamad. Uh, hindi tayo pwedeng tatamad-tamad. Marami tayong trabaho <laughs> bilang guru, ano? So, uh, ngayon, ano yung, ano, ano yung solution dito, no? So, when we try to, we have to enrich our vocabulary. Kasi kapag hindi reach yung ating vocabulary then nahihirapan tayong mag-impart. We cannot give what we don't have. Di ba? 
So let's enrich our vocabulary. For example, hindi natin sasabihin very shiny. Sabi natin, gleaming, gleaming siya, no? O kaya hindi natin sasabihin na very eager. Hindi very eager, kundi keen siya. So you can you, you can visit bit.ly slash bank of words para when we give feedback, when we would like, when we, when we want to say things, uh, you can use these words, you know? Let's refrain from using the one on the left, you may mga X, you know? It's instead, make use the one on the right. Practice po yan. Practice. Kailangan natin mag-practice. So, eto na, ang dami ko na mga, kasi observation ko to, kaya sinabi ko. No? <laughs> observation ko to. So, ano naman yung mga tips to become an effective communicator? Okay. So, number one, when sending messages via email, let's refrain from yung mga shortcuts natin. Kasi, Anli na naman ngayon, hindi na natin kailangan magtipid, hindi natin kailangan isipin na bawat message natin ay piso. Ano? Kasi kung ano yung, pa, the, the way we communicate with people via text, nagiging ganun tayo, nagiging shortcut tayo. Ano yung shortcut na yun? Nagiging, hindi natin na ibibigay doon sa recipient natin, number one, kung estudyante man yun, yung tamang spelling. Pangalawa, parang, kalimbawa, yung katuloy nga kayo nang sinabi natin, yung okay, I'm okay, yung K lang, nagiging parang tamad tayo. Eh, kaso nga lang, kasi noon, parang magsusubot ka ng words via text, medyo mahaba, ano? Eh, sanayin natin, kasi pag sinanayin natin ang sarili natin na puro shortcut, baka tayo mismo, nakakalimutan na natin yung tamang spelling, hindi na healthy para sa atin yung bilang educator. So, when we try, isang practice namin yung mag-asawa, no? nag-usap kami, Kasi ang asawa ko ay AB literature. <laughs> Saludo ako sa kanya. Kaya tuwing meron akong sasabihin, papapacheck muna ako sa kanya. Ang isang condition niya sa akin, okay, pag magte-text tayo or kung saan mang medium, ano, messenger man yan or kung saan man, walang shortcut. So, oh, yeah. yun ginagawa namin sa mga anak namin. Na, namin. So, ngayon, sa tayo bilang ako, bilang uh, guro, sa studyante ko, ganun din ang ano ko, nire-require ko. Kasi, hindi natin pwedeng sanayin na shortcut yung mga bagay-bagay. Dahil lahat ng bagay dapat pinaghihirapan. So, in sending message, no shortcuts. The same with email. Um, alam naman natin yung mga English teacher dyan. Meron composition na pang email. Meron dapat, sinabi ko kanina, meron dapat uh, subject, which will talk about, basically, a backgrounder of the content of the email. We need to have salutation, at least greetings man lang ano kung hindi niyo kilala yung pag uh, pag hindi niyo kung hindi kayo kilala or para kasi yung, nag, pag nag-email kayo sa hindi niyo kilala nagpapakilala kayo dapat at especially on the first uh, email ano so observe lang natin yung basic part of a letter ngayon lang naman naging electronic naging electronic mail no so merong salutation merong body merong conclusion or yung summary diba ganun lang naman din sa email so make sure that we make it a happy and then in so uh, in posting in social media aside from not refraining from uh, doing shortcuts we have to consider yung uh, ano yung pinopost natin kasi take note whether we like it or not kung ano man ang pinost natin online that will be perceived as who we are whether we like it or not um kaso nga lang ngayon marami na ang tao na nabubulag yata. I don't know if, if it's the correct word, nabubulag dun sa pinatawag natin na hashtag humble brag. You know? uh, yung makapag-post lang ng kung ano-ano. Which will also talk about or speaks for our values. Kasi baka mamaya, puro yabang-yabang na. So, ibig sabihin, ang makikita ng bata sa atin, lalo na kung friends natin na ating mga sudyante sa Facebook, wow, si sir, ang galing, ang yama, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Pero, Ano ba yung pinapost natin? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng pinapost natin? Kaya nga ang GMA7, meron silang think before you click. Kasi the think is stands for something. So before we post something, it must be true. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng letter T. And then yung H don is, is it honorable? No? Honorable. And then yung I don is, is it informative or insightful? No? Tapos, yung end doon is, is it, is it necessary to post that one? Kasi, nabawa, may mga na-excite eh. Merong bagong biling gamit. Ano? So, is it necessary to post these things? 
Now, meron mga bagay na pinupost tayo kasi happy tayo. No? So, okay. Pero, uh, when we're happy, we have to take note of the last letter, which is letter K. Kindness. No? Kasi ngayon, sa pandemic, ang dami kong nakitang post na uh, nagluluto ng pagkain o kaya nagpunta ng Starbucks kasi bukas na ulit ang Starbucks. Ano? Wala namang masama sa pagbili ng Starbucks o ng mga coffee-coffee or mga expensive things. But take note, there are less fortunate people who doesn't have any. So kung mag-Starbucks man tayo, kung mag-loot tayo ng sarap kain, sa atin na lang, huwag natin i-post kasi hindi siya nakakatulong sa iba. Yun lang yung sakit. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, this is my time. <laughs> kaya Sir Javi, yun lang campaign ko. No? Kasi we have to be sensitive to the needs of others. Uh, yun. So we have to be sensitive on what we post. We have to think before we post. Ano? Yeah. Now, how can we, how, let's say, hindi ako marunong, sabi ko kanina, hindi ako ganun kagaling mag-English. So, anong ginagawa ko? So, I use technology. Before I email something, I enable the feature undo send. Kasi minsan kapag nag-send tayo ng email, ay, naku, nakalimutan kong i-proofread. Dapat, yung proofread natin. <laughs> Ayan. So, lalagay, uh, uh, yun, mag-proofread muna tayo. Kaso nga lang, pag nagmamadali, hindi, naku, na-send ko na, hindi ko na mabawi. So, I enable the Gmail undo send. Ah. With Google, using Google Docs or any digital kahit Gmail, pag nagtatagalog tayo, meron dyan red wavy line at green wavy lines. It means kapag red, wrong spelling. spelling. Kapag green naman, tamang spelling, pero mukhang may mali kung paano gamitin yung isang word. So, okay. yun yung simple ways, ano? And then, yung mga built-in features na sa Google Docs, meron dyan spelling and grammar. Kung hindi ka satisfied doon, meron ding Chrome extension. For example, Grammarly. So, it will check all Very your... Di ba? Grammarly. So, it will check all your writings uh, pag ano, kapag medyo... May mga suggestions siya. So, yun yung ginagamit ko to improve myself. I'm not a perfect person. Uh, alam ng asawa ko yan kasi lagi ako nagko-consult sa kanya. <laughs> alam, alam mo po, Sir Gary, what, ano, what I like about Grammarly. Lalo yes, na po yung sa email, uh, it, even, it even tells you how your email sounds like. Yes, di ba? It's a friendly yeah. sounding email if you sound, uh, if you sound uh, as if you are angry at the recipient. Uh-oh. It will give you, uh, it will actually tell you if the email sounds like that. Kasi if important yun eh, baka kaya nga tayo sa email din, hindi tayo, or kahit sa text, or kahit sa posting natin sa ano, huwag dapat all caps. Kasi it says a lot of things, no? You, are you angry kapag naka all caps yan? So yun yung mga bagay-bagay na kailangan nating tandaan. Kaya nga sabi ko kayo na eh, um, hindi na ako expert dito, pero ito yung mga natutunan ko dati or narinig ko dati, hindi ko nga natutunan sa school to mga to, no? <laughs> kundi yung mga proper behavior. Yeah. So, yun lang. No? So, um, yan yung mga resources ko. Ito, <laughs> barriers to effective communication and what is communication? It's uh, dyan. No? So, you can visit those links. So, yun. So, sir, siguro, if the audience has a question, maybe... Ayan, I guess, sir, sila naman yung pagbigyan natin. Oo. <laughs> uh, merong mga reactions uh, or suggestions or even questions from uh, the members of our viewers. Sige lang po, feel free to uh, type away. Sabi nga ni Sir Gary, ideally type in complete uh, words and in proper sentences. But... Uh, naman matakot yeah. sila. Sige na. <laughs> Aminado naman, ano yan eh, practice yan. Ano? Hindi ako, sabi ko nga, natulungan ako ng asawa ko. I graduated, pero may mga lapses pa rin ako when it comes to grammar, when it comes to spelling, okay lang yun. Kaya nga, sabi ko, eh, siguro magandang sabihin ko rin, no? hindi naman tayo kailangan maging perfecto. Meron tayong mga shortcomings, but the important thing is how we address. Dapat, una, i-acknowledge natin na, meron, na hindi tayo magaling. Correct. Kasi, Kapag kinonsider natin na magaling tayo, ay di wala ka nang gagawin, wala na akong gagawin na to improve myself. So, the first step is to accept that you're that we're not perfect and we have to improve ourselves. So, next step is ano nang gagawin mo since hindi ka perfect. So, yan. So, yung ginawa ko no, yung tips ko kanina, 
I asked for for feedback coming from my wife to 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 check my yung mga slides ko yung mga ayun hindi ko na check pa check yung slide ko no <laughs> yun yun. so yun know ano yung gagawin mo ngayon anong gagawin natin kung hindi tayo magaling so we ha- as teachers we are all lifelong learners so we need to improve especially now and dami nating challenges when we're online uh yung simpleng Uh, ang word na nga doon ngayon, nakikita ba yung ano ko, yung screen ko? Naririnig niyo ba ako? Kasi, <laughs> ang concern as teacher, no? Nakikita niyo ba yung screen ko? <laughs> Kasi, we're all adjusting. So, hindi, ano lang yan, okay lang yan. So, magtanong po kayo, ano? <laughs> Ayan, sir, meron pong, ano, may, may question from uh, Lord Lena. Ayan. How, how, do you, how do you teach the four C's of 21st century skills. Siguro po, we can focus on uh, communication kasi like you mentioned earlier that these are actually things that you never learned in school. These yeah. are, There are some. Taught to yeah. us. Uh, lalo na po nung time natin, but uh, it, it has been realized that these skills are very important. So how can we perhaps teach them to our students now? Um, okay. Um, when it comes to giving instruction, we have uh, very simple. Um, when giving instruction, be specific. You have to be concise. Hindi na yung nakaparagraph, ano? Kasi number one, mo overwhelm ang bata. Ang instruction natin nasa paragraph. Why make use of numbered list or bulleted list? Kasi very, ano yun, eh, very phrases lang yan, no? So, mas simple, mas concise, mas malinaw sa estudyante. So, ito yung mga bagay na pwede natin gawin din sa mga bata. So, when we are asking them to to just say, okay, how are you feeling today? So, ano ba yun? Magko-compose ba siya? So, let's say, sasabihin ba natin in, a, in, a, in, in bulleted form. Ayan. So, pwede nyo sabihin nga, in bulleted form, can you please uh, enumerate your feelings? So, para hindi na kailangan intindihin ngayon ng, uh, ng, ng bata yung proper grammar. Kasi, hindi siya, kung gusto man man niya mag-recite, kapag natatakot siya dun sa grammar, baka magalit si teacher, baka mamali ako, mapahiya ako. No? Yun yung mga fear ng estudyante. So, ipabullets na lang natin para maging confident yung mga bata. Kasi later on, okay, maybe later on. So, pwede na ibigayan as feedback to a specific student, not in front of the class. Kasi yun yung role natin to correct them, to teach them. No? So, yun. That I, that's one tip that I can give Miss Lord Lena. Ah, yeah. So, Lord, yeah. so siguro, yeah. important muna, sir, no, na, na we develop in the learners the confidence to express themselves first. Yeah. And then, ifalap natin yung ano, grammar and spelling and etc. Correct? Kasi ako lagi kong sinasabi doon sa mga dating webinars, it's important that we build relationship with our students. Kasi hindi sila magpa-participate, hindi sila matututo kapag ang inuna natin ay yung ating content. You know? So, lalo na sa mga English teachers, huwag muna. Lahat ng teachers applicable naman to. Unahin natin yung relationship with our students. Kasi yun yung nawala ngayon. Dahil sa nakascreen lang sila. Hindi nyo nga alam kung nandyan sila, kung letter, you know, ako, letter G. You know? Nandyan pa talaga sila sa harapan ng screen kapag naka-off ang mic at naka-off ang camera. camera. So, we have to build the relationship first. Iyon yung pinakamahal ng bagay, bago yung ating. Secondary na lang yung ating content. Correct. Yes. Agree, agree. No? Sir, Jambi, siguro add lang ako no, sa sinabi na ni Sir, Sir Gary. Um, and yung sinabi mo na rin kanina na important na huwag natin kalimutan na itong tinuturo natin na communication in a 21st century learning is not just the language. Okay, so hindi ito sa pin lang ng lingwahe, no? Uh, ito yung usapin ng kung paano mo ipinapaabot ang iyong mensahe at gano'ng kaka-efektibo para maipaabot yung iyong mensahe. Kasi, and there's a reason, Sir Jambi, no, why we put this at the last uh, part. Kasi we could have like gone with um, this one first and then collaboration, critical thinking. Um, there's an importance kasi ito yung actually nag i dun sa tatlo. Okay? Uh, that we already presented. No? To be able to, because this information, lahat ng knowledge na derive mo, for example, That, nga, example, collaboration. You can't collaborate without communication. And uh, collaboration is only as effective as, as, as your effective communication. Uh, your critical thinking as well okay, uh, uh, would be enhanced by communication. Kasi lahat ng, mak- uh, ng criticisms mo, kaya 
ways of uh, changing things or innovations. Itong mga innovations na na-derive mo from from this uh, from critical thinking and creativity, walang sense yan kung hindi mo siya kayang i-communicate sa mundo, which will be beneficial to other people. Kasi for example, kung ako yung nag-invent ako ng isang uh, new way of teaching, kaya lang hindi ko siya ma-communicate or I wasn't able to properly uh, disseminate it, then walang sense yung uh, yung, yung, yeah. yung na-invent ko or na, 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 na-produce ko na bagong kaalaman. So that's, that's the reason why we put this at the last kasi uh, mechanism yung communication to enhance yung other uh, seas of 21st century learning. And again, let's go back teachers to the point of Sir Gary kanina and Sir Jambi. Ang importante po, ay yung paano mo kaepektibong na ipapadala ang iyong mensahe. Kung yung po ay lingwahe mo ay English, Tagalog, uh, hindi naman po mahalaga kung, uh, kung anong lingwahe mo sinasabi yan. Basta kailangan epektibo at malinaw mong na ipapadala yan. Kaya, Thank sir, you, sir. Ako, kanina, no? yung mga barriers, we have to work on it kasi ano eh, marami tayong kailangan consider to be an effective communicator. Maybe I'll just give you the PDF file of my slide para ma-review din ng ating audience, ano? Para they, kailangan natin i-check yung sarili natin. Eh. Very important ngayon, mental health. Kung paano tayo nagko-compose, kung ba, pagod na tayo o mainit ang ulo natin o maraming tayong concern, it will also affect how are we how how we compose things, how we communicate with others, ano? Sige, sir. Ayan, bigyan ko kayo ng PDF file. Yeah. Okay, so, we have another ayan, sige, question from Marge Gozo. One of the four C's is communication. How can this be taught to students of this generation when most of them are so engaged online? Can it be considered effective too? Um, okay. Kasi po, ang communication, it's eh, maraming, mar- sinabi ko kanya, no? Maram, yung depende sa medium na ginamit natin, yung channel natin, let's say hindi marunong yung ang bata magsulat. Pwede natin gawin, ang output niya ay isang video na nagpapakita nung gusto niyang sabihin. Kasi hindi lahat magaling magsulat, ano? Kasi pwede i-document na lang. Pero, instead na document, okay, uh, halimbawa, uh, paggawa mo siya ng video kung paano gagawin yung isang proseso. Kasi hindi niya kayang i-enumerate isa-isa. So, Pag-gawa ka ng video, pwede yan. Um, another thing is, when you when they post the video, may collaboration, uh, it can be, uh, they, pwede siyang makahingi ng feedback by posting it online, hopefully in a, in, a, in the domain para hindi naman siya public. Kasi when when they, when the person or when a student receive a feedback, especially from the teachers, mananotice niya, ayaw nga, no? Kasi nakikita ng iba, ibang Iba, ano ba, ako yung communicator. Yung sinabi ko yun, yung, send, yung uh, sender, maraming recipient. Yung recipient ay yung mga classmate niya. So, they will have different point of view. Naka-age niya yung nakakakikita ng video, nagbibigay siya ng sarili nilang observation. Hindi tayo dapat, uh, we have to encourage our students to uh, give uh, constructive criticism. Hindi lang yung, pangit, hindi ganda yan, hindi okay yan. Bakit mo nasabing hindi okay? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng okay? Ano ba yung okay para sa'yo? So, medyo matagal na process yan kasi kailangan natin may bank of words tayo. Kasi hindi tayo dapat, as teachers, we, we shouldn't be, uh, we shouldn't settle for, I'm okay. Yung <laughs> sabon ko kayo na. Kasi what do you mean you're not okay? You have to express it. You have to be more more specific when you say you're not okay. Are you hungry? Or... Uh, you didn't understand the topic, yung mga ganun. No? Kasi, when we, when we make follow-up questions, mas nagiging critical thinkers yung mga estudyante natin. Oo oh, nga, no? Magre-reflect sila eh. Diba? So, communication can be taught in different ways. Um, sabi ko nga po kayo na hindi lang siya writing, non-verbal, uh, pwede nga yung dance lang, ano? Yung... <laughs> Uh, kasi may mga, depende yan sa learning style ng estudyante. Meron mga linguistic, meron mga kinetics. Ano. So, yun po. Kailangan natin makilala ang estudyante natin, unang-una, para matulungan natin sila ng tama. Yung learning styles nila, ang i-enhance natin. So, we can assist them with their weaknesses. At alam natin yung strengths nila. So, we can assist them better. Correct. I agree, Sir ano, sir Gary. 
Uh, dagdagan ko lang po siguro and uh, I'd, I'd also like to share this with our co-teachers, mga kaguro natin. Um, alam nyo po marami tayong pwedeng matutunan sa mga applications that our students, our kids are engaged with at present. Okay? Uh, siguro kasi medyo may edad na tayo, automatic sa atin, wag, wag yan or wag mong panoorin yan. But you know, it would actually benefit us to ask ourselves, why are they so engaged with this? Ano ba yung ibibigay nitong app na ito na hinahanap-hanap nila sa lesson ko, na hinahanap-hanap nila sa, you know, uh, and ultimately knowing that would help you improve your uh, communication, would help you improve how you communicate to the students, and ganun na rin sila ka-engaged sa lesson. Yeah. Hindi naman yung maganda, di ba? Sir Jambi, siguro, dagdag ko lang din yun sa sanabi mo, no? Kasi mayroon akong mga teachers, co-teachers na uh, nag-reach out sa akin na, paano ba yun? Hindi ko alam gamitin to, hindi ko alam gamitin yan. Yung mga sadyante, alam na alam to, no? Number one, sinabi ko kanina na we have to acknowledge her, we're not perfect. Aminin natin yung sa sadyante. So, you can learn from them. Kasi sabihin, okay, Sige nga, paano mo ginawa nyo? Ask them to explain. Kasi at least you are letting them express themselves and then communicate with you and you're learning from them, di ba? So, that's one way, no? We, mga bata mabilis sa technology. Siguro yung mga tenured teachers hindi, hindi ganon, pero we shouldn't be threatened by that. Dapat gamitin natin yung strength ng studyante. Correct. What? advice po can you give to those who want to have a great communication skills po aside from practicing? Since for some po, hindi yun effective or enough. Mm-hmm. Advice to become a great communication, with uh, great communication skills. Uh, kasi po, yung practice po, uh, yun lang po na talaga ang ano, no? Uh, oh, sige, aside from practice, kasi practice, yun lang naman eh, parang, parang, parang ka matututong magbike eh di, huwag ka magbasa lang. Kundi, sumakay ka sa bike. Yeah? So, practice yan eh. Now, aside from practice, kasi ayaw yun ng from practice, ano? Um, ano ba yun? Uh, nais na akong word kanina eh. Aside from practice, uh, to, be, to become an effective communicator, you speak to yourself. Yung, how do you speak to yourself? In front of a mirror. Kasi nandoon yung kapag nagsalita ka sa harapan ng salamin, nakikita mo sarili mo, yung mannerism mo. Kasi yung body language, yung sabi ko kanina, the way you move while you're talking, yung mannerism natin, it also conveys a message. So you talk to yourself. Um, you practice in front of a mirror. Ito yung matagal ko na nga palang natutunan din. But parang grade 6 yata, kasi namin sa akin, teacher ko yun. Kasi meron kaming declamation, nagpapamemorize si teacher, no? You practice in front of the mirror. Siguro yun yung, uh, yung practice pa rin eh. Pero in, you talk to yourself in front of the mirror so you can be better. Kasi ang standard natin, ang na-realize ko rin to, ang pinakamahirap nating kalaban yung sarili natin kasi tayo yung greatest critic natin. Eh. No? Correct, correct. B- before, kinocompare natin yung sarili natin sa iba. Pero ang totoo nun, tayo yung <laughs> alam natin kung gano'n tayo kagaling o hindi kagaling. So, ang kalaban talaga natin, sarili natin. And we shouldn't compare ourselves to others. Yeah. Agree. Yeah, sir, Jambi, no, add ko lang siguro. Well, definitely kasi uh, that, wala naman talagang best answer talaga dito kundi yung sinabi ni Sir Gary na mag-practice talaga tayo. No? <laughs> It's not the best way to be a, pra- a good communicator. Kasi by practicing, you gain confidence. Sabi nga ni Sir Jambi kanina, no, important na ma-develop natin sa mga students natin. Sa atin din, mga teachers yung confidence. Pero siguro kung meron tayong i-add would be number one, know your audience, know who you are talking to or going to talk to because uh, doing so allows you to um, to 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 gauge no, what kind of language. Kasi may nagtatanong din kanina, when do you use informal or when do you use formal language when when speaking? When You, you have to know your audience. Okay? And um, second, siguro aside from knowing your audience, know what your context is uh, in the speaking or uh, in, in that uh, In, in that when you're communicating, okay? So, alamin mo kung ano yung context. So, for example, kung it's a formal event, then baka kailangan talaga formal yung, uh, yung, yung language or use of language mo, no? 
Pero for example, ito isang uh, gathering na magkakilala naman kayo and uh, uh, you, you can be casual or informal. Kasi again, it boils down to um, are you sending your message effectively? Kasi for example, kung sa, sa formal event ka, baka pag informal yung language mo, you might not be sending your language effectively. And for, on, yeah. on the other hand, kung nasa medyo informal uh, setup ka, no, yung mga kaibigan mo, tapos very formal ka magsalita, oh. then you might not also be sending your message effectively. Correct. So again, we go back to the the core of the idea of communication, which is to be able to send your your points your across clearly to your recipients. Kasi yun nga, kahit ka naman yung methods, strategies, approaches na gagamit natin, yung mga tools na binigay ni Sir Gary, babalik ka ulit dun sa core point na yun. Yan. Thank you, Sir Gary. Sir Gary, meron lang akong isi-share dito. Sige, so. Kasi mer- nasabi na to kanina ng mga, mga ano natin. Yan. Na-share naman sa page namin to. Um, yan. So, gabay sa pagpapadala ng email. Okay. So, yung mga teachers natin, um, pwede nyo pong hanapin sa page namin yan. So, gumawa kami ng uh, guidelines. Kaya ano dapat ang lang ng email nyo, no? Uh, pag nagsisend kayo ng mga email. So, pwede nyo po yan sundin. Okay. Gabay sa pagpapadala. Very simple lang, no? Sir Jambi and Sir Gary. Pero sometimes, minsan nakakadagdag ng uh, stress to. Pag hindi properly, ano yan. Sabi nga Sir Gary kanina, di ba? makatanggap ka ng ganong email, medyo nakaka-bother siya, di ba? Out of Wait, all the emails. Yes, di ba? No subject. <laughs> tapos, oh, di ba? So, yan. So, pwede po nila yan ma-view sa ating uh, page if they want. Okay. Oh, that's good. Sige. I-share ko rin yan. Kasi, yun, uh, very simple things na hindi pala lahat din nakakaalam. No? So, ayan, marami pong teachers ang gumagawa ng mga video tutorials o nagpo-post, nakatulad ng pinapost niyo to help other teachers kasi not everyone knows. Ayan. So, we cannot assume too much pala. No? Uh, yun po. Uh, let us know if you need help. Ako po ay hindi ng advocacy ko to educate ed- other educators, to empower ed- other educators. Ayan. Salamat po. Thank you, Sir Gary. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, mayroong question, yeah. how can we promote communication among our learners in modular modality? Um, kasi po, this means na uh, offline po kadalasan, ano, or ang, ang metang uh, gagawin, ano? So, this will be more on in writing po. Ano? Magpupokus sila sa writing. So, yun po, walang shortcut. Katulad po na sinabi ko kanina, wala pong shortcuts, uh, proper capitalization, Ah, uh, ayun po. Iyon lang po mo sa good communication. Siguro po we can, ayun, mahirap ngayon ang gawain natin kasi talagang uh, we have to explain briefly ano yung kailangan lang i-improve. So, nimbawa po, uh, can you expound on a specific word na ginamit ng estudyante? So, ayun po yung madalas na comment na mangyayari kapag in writing po ang ating uh, uh, so, lalo po sa mga modules natin. So, we have to let them express. Kapag hindi po, parang medyo bitin. Halimbawa, explain b- briefly, pero hindi naman po naging specific. Kailangan po, we ask them to expound on something. Para ma-promote po natin yung good communication skills nila. Agree. Ayan. Alam niyo po, actually, ano, uh, I'd like to believe that uh, the modular modality that most of our public schools will be implementing, kahit pa paano may, ano yan, may silver lining. Ayan. Hopefully, it will make better writers among our students. Kasi parasado sila na magsulat, parasado sila na magbasa. So hopefully... Ayan. They, they become better writers naman. So, pag natapos itong pandemya na ito, we now have students who are really good in technology and students who are really good in writing. And then, pag samahin natin sila, let's allow them to collaborate. And, yes. uh, yeah. And, and siguro, Jambi, no, and Sir Gary, uh, isa yun sa, sa mga gumagamit ng mga modular format ngayon, isa sa pwede, pwede nyo gawin, well, it's not like a specific um activity pero it's more of like an approach to uh, to your modules no to uh, to uh, develop communication is well again we go back to the idea na uh, communication is about expressing ideas no 
Um, so, in your activity siguro sa mga lessons nyo, okay, mag, uh, mag, mag-produce or mag-gawa uh, kayo, mag-construct ng activities that uh, allows your students to express the, the ideas presented in your lesson. So, for example, kung nag-aaral ka, for example, ng, um, ng, ng maps, okay, uh, so, um, medyo nakarelate Sir Jambi niyan kasi last time lang, uh, isa tayo sa mga lessons <laughs> na kailangan nila, di ba? Mayroon, example, gumagawa ka ng maps, no, or nag-lesson mo is maps, no, um, Rather than, for example, asking the students about the maps, okay, maybe you'd like to um, to uh, to ask them, okay, to to discuss to their family members the importance of maps, etc. For example, like that, or for um, higher students, pwede ka magparo ng magkaroon ng mga activities that will ask them to share their thoughts, ideas in social media. Kasi nga para din maipromote natin, no, na the the social media becomes a platform of expression of uh, intellectual ideas, no, hindi lang yun. Again. Uh, mga random ideas natin. Kasi dun lang nila talaga mahasa or develop yung ability to communicate. Okay? And kanina, Sir Jambi, meron lang ako nadaan ng isang tanong. Hindi natin ma-flash, no? medyo malayo na yata. <laughs> May nagtanong lang on uh, um, how do we teach the or how do we correct, uh, dahil, dahil nga nag-uusap na tayo sa modular format, how do we correct daw Sir Gary and Sir Jambi yung mga uh, punctuations, mga grammatical errors dun sa sulat ng mga sudyante sa modules. Okay. So, well, uh, yun, siguro technical aspect na yun ng, uh, ng, ng English language. No? Kaya, kaya lang, ako personally, <coughs> sa subject ko, well, I, I give uh, premium then on uh, the correctness no, of the, the use of language. Okay. Uh, hindi siya lagi yung pinaprioritize ko. Siyempre, lagi ko pa rin tinitingnan um, the message of the student. Okay. So, siguro, for the teachers, um, kailangan natin bigyan ng importance, you know. Kasi baka naman mag, uh, kinorect na natin siya grammatically or uh, correct the punctuations, pero we did not mind exactly the message that was sent. Okay? Sometimes siguro binibigyan ko importance yung punctuations sa grammatical errors pag it now hinders the proper expression of the idea. So yun lang, so uh, be careful on the, the Sigari, go ahead po. Uh, I agree. I just want to agree with you kasi may mga minamali. Halimbawa, mayroon kasi anak ko na lang nangyayas. Sa anak ko yan, uh, grade 4 siya noon, na tama naman sana yung content, yung mensahe niya. Pero wrong spelling yung ibang word. So, may nalik na. So, take note po, uh, may may points din yung ano ba yung objective natin sa pagtatanong. Dapat ba tama ang spelling o ma-relay yung message? So, depende po yan sa objective natin. Ngayon po, kung hindi naman tayo, huwag sana tayo maging masyadong naigpit, lalo na kung hindi naman tayo English teacher sa spelling. It's good that we correct the wrong spelling. But take note, ano ang objective natin sa pagpapagawa ng activity? Yun po dapat yes, ang consider can. natin. Thank you, sir. Well, salamat po. Yan. Um, ano? Okay. Brian. <coughs> ah, okay po. Um, very hell, I, kasi po, uh, nandun ang, ano po dito, yung mga bar, is pong barrier dito na nakikita ko, bakit magaling po siya online at hindi siya magaling dun sa, sa, sa in person, no, sa classroom. Kasi po, yung confidence level. Kasi, ano po ba yung atmosphere natin sa classroom? Is it, is it uh, threatening? Kaya po hindi makapag-express yung bata. So, yun po, no, maraming barriers kasi the the condition on where we are, uh, yung ating, yung yung atmosphere sa classroom. So, ngayon po kasi, kaya medyo maganda sila mag-express online dahil wala, parang ang feeling nila walang nakatingin sa kanila. So, kaya nakakapag-express po sila ng maayos. So, with with that, Tignan po natin, no? bago natin sabihin na ma- baka kasi magaling talaga yung bata. Hindi lang sila magaling kapag kaharap si teacher kasi ninenerbiyos. No? So, yun yung mga factor na kailangan natin tignan din po. Ano? So, yan. Yun. <laughs> sir, uh, yun. Uh, well, t- 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 time check din pala tayo. Tayo ka Sir Jambi. No? Sir, kasi may meeting si Sir Gary by, uh, by 3.30. So, um, siguro mag-entertain pa tayo, Sir Gary, ng um, um, one more question no? before po. Alam po namin, meron pa kayong kailangan habulin na, na, na meetings. No? In um, demand, Sir Gary. Sir, 
<laughs> Kasi gusto ko lang naman tumulong ano, yeah, tumulong lang sa kung hangga't kaya. Ayun. So ask pa lang po how to instill good communication in case of new normal where blended learning has been accessed. For instance, some students are somewhat shy to talk once they use online. Huh? Some students are somewhat shy to talk when they use online. <coughs> okay po. Um, siguro po, maganda para may... Kasi yung, ano, yung, yung art of questioning natin as teachers, malaking role yun para makapag makapag express ng ng tama o ng ng nasa sa loob yung mga bata. Pero siguro po kung kung may mga estudyanteng mahihiyain, mas maganda kung we give time yung uh, consultation time. Lalo na po sa online ano, meron po sanang asynchronous time, no? Na wherein you can talk to the students individually kasi kapag nasa klase medyo nakakaiya, nakakaimbaras pag tatawanan ng classmate. May peer pressure. Kapag nasa asynchronous class yan, kayong dalawa lang, you can now uh, do the art of questioning para ma-express nila ng mas maayos yung sarili nila. Ngayon, kung babalik man tayo dun sa, sa blended, yung tipong nasa klase na ulit, ano? So, give time. Yung space na, alimbawa, okay, uh, merong activity. During the activity, you can pull out someone para makapag makommunicate ng bata sa iyo kung sa palagay mo pwede siyang ma-encourage. So, kahit meron tayong dalawang estudyante lang in every class. Kung meron tayo sa isang buwan, meron tayong naka-reach naka out tayo dun sa walang estudyante kung if we have four weeks, no. So, yun, uh, giving medyo demanding po para sa teacher. Yung mag mag uh, ipo-pull out natin or to talk to an individual student. So, pero yun po ang suggest ko. Give time for each student. At least, at least two students every meeting para po, ano, para po ma-build ma natin yung good communication skills nila. Yan po. Okay. So, uh, yan. Siguro, Sir Gary. Sige uh, po. Sir Jambi. I, I agree with Sir Gary. Hindi, alam niyo po kasi, ano, ah, uh, ako rin naman naging estudyante, lahat naman tayo naging estudyante and we know when our teacher really cares for us. Nararamdaman natin, uh, she doesn't have to say it, hindi niya kailangang i-explicitly sabihin sa atin. Pero the little things that teachers do, the, the extra mile that he or she goes, malaking bagay po yun and uh, mapapansin ninyo yung student mismo would uh, develop a love for learning, would uh, himself try to make himself better. So, huwag po natin baliwalain yung sinasabi ni Sir Gary na develop a relationship with your students. Ayan. Kailangan kampante sila sa inyo para maging confident din sila na i-express yung mga sarili nila. So, yan. Siguro ano, final message from uh, Sir Gary bago siguro magpaalam uh, si Sir Gary sa atin at umatend ng kanyang meeting. May meeting po siya sa kanyang asa GEG Mentor A APAC. So, wow. yes. Yeah. Go, go ahead, Sir Gary, last message po siguro for our teachers that uh, they're going to be opening uh, uh, the deployment of modules this Monday. Um, final message po. Um, let's acknowledge that we are not perfect kasi that's the only way we can improve. So, kung yung attitude natin na yun ay ibibigay din natin sa ating mga estudyante, mas magiging confident yung ating mga estudyante na makapag-communicate sa atin. Kasi hindi sila, hindi sila, hindi nila nakikita na si teacher na kung dapat tama ang sabihin ko, na kung dapat tama ang grammar ko. No? Hindi po ganun. Kung ina-acknowledge natin in front of our students na tayo mismo hindi perfecto sa pagsasalita o sa pag-communicate, mas magiging comfortable sila sa atin at mas makaka-build kayo ng magandang relationship sa kanila. Kasi po, to communicate means to express one's feelings. No? Yun po, sir. Again, maraming maraming salamat po, Sir Gary. Ayan. You're Bibigyan welcome. po namin kayo ng, ano, ng palakpakan. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> salamat po. Pero I'm sure din yung mga kasama natin na nanonood, malaking malaki rin ang pasasalamat nila sa inyo. Marami po kaming natutunan and uh, 
Sana po uh, nakatulong ang ating webinar this afternoon to uh, prepare us for Monday. Oh, advance ano po pala? Advance World Teachers Day po sa ating lahat. Ayan. Oh, nga, happy <laughs> Teachers Day. <laughs> World Teachers Month nang ata tayo eh, no? Tama ba 'yun, Sir Franco? Come again. Parang nasa World Teachers Month na nga yes, ano tayo. Yes, yes. Until October 5. So medyo timing nga yung opening ng ano, na <laughs> opening <laughs> ng classes sa public school. Yes. So again, thank you, thank you so much, Sir Gary, na maraming salamat. Okay. Thank you. Ayan. Salamat po, Sir Gary. Ayan, Sir, Sir Jambi, actually meron pa tayong konti, no? siguro mga 5-10 minutes, kung meron pa mga questions yung mga Uh, um, viewers natin na uh, kasi syempre konti lang yung time that was um, given to us by Sir Gary kasi nga busy Sir Gary may meeting pa siya ngayon sa APAC uh, teachers if you have questions pa if you'd like to ano while we're sure, sure. Oh, yes kasi uh, ang kasama po natin ngayon Sir Jambi ay isang uh, <laughs> ay gusto ko lang ano no uh, baka may mga questions kayo lalo sa mga technical aspect na ko kayang kaya po yan ni <laughs> Sir Jambi binibiro na po yung So yun, teachers, no? So again, maraming salamat uh, for for being with us uh, this afternoon, no? We know it's uh, it has been, this is a rescheduled, no? Um, um, webinar. So maraming salamat for being with us still uh, today. Ayan. Dahil ito dun sa ano, no? Sir Franco, sa nagkaroon tayo ng connection concerns, yeah. di ba? Connection. Yeah. Connection scare. Yeah. <laughs> Kamusta na po ba ang mga ano nyo? Kamusta na ang mga internet connection ninyo? Yes, so, naka-recover na po ba kayo sa inyong mga... Uh, mo, pag Saturday na, two days before ng ano, kinakabakabahan ka na kung medyo pumapalya pa rin yung ano. So, k- kamusta po? Balitaan nyo po kami kung kamusta na yung inyong internet connection. Yes. Okay. Gusto ko tong quote ni Miss Marcelina, ano pa, yes, gusto ko yung statement niya. Yes, we should never forget... We communicate to express, not to impress. No. Na uh, moto po yun yun. No? Moto ni Sir Franco yun. <laughs> Kailangan po talaga natin yung matuto lang. Ta- yung po importante kasi talaga sa atin yun. Um, yung yung ability na to to communicate. Lalo na ngayon sa sa 21st century learnings. Ah, uh, 21st century setup. No. Um. So at siguro Sir Jambi, no. Before tayo mag-end, uh, let's just sum up everything. Kasi uh, this is now the end of our September series. Natapos na natin ang four C's of 21st century learning. So, uh, so bumalik tayo yung first, no? Bumpisaan mo, susugan ko. Yes, bumalikan natin mula sa lahat, simula, simula, simula. So, nag-start tayo, teachers, with collaboration. No? Very important um, that we are going to work with with others. Okay, So, we develop to our students the ability to work with others. Kasi, uh, again, as we mentioned in that session, um, wala na tayong time to um, to acquire all the knowledge and perhaps all the skills, no? Uh, hindi, hindi na tayo katulad Sir Jambi ng mga 17th century or 16th century artisans na, for example, if gusto kong gumawa ng isang bagay, ako na lang yung gagawa ng isang bagay na yun, okay Or, uh, for example, the times of uh, Plato's and Socrates na sila'y nag acquire lang ng knowledge on their own. Uh, ngayon, uh, ang hirap na. Hindi na... Yes, Sir, Sir Jambi, Frank, go. Ano yan? Uh... Hindi lang nila na realize eh, nung panahon na yon na if they had collaborated with each other yeah. baka mas marami pang ano mas marami pang inventions mas marami pang ideas ang nagflourish. Yes, correct to ayan. No? So, huwag nating kalimutan yung teachers no, yung um, yung yung working with others will uh, will 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 allow our students to to success to succeed more no, to succeed more in the 21st century uh, um, employment area or um um In employment, no? Um, so, after that, we took on um, critical thinking, okay? Kasi, lalo na sa propagation, Sir Jambi, na dami ng mga fake news. Kakalabas, yung bang kay, for example, kay, um, kay Trump ay isang uh, fake news, for example. May mga lumalabas sa fake news to, or dito fake news. Well, we can't, no? For now, we, we can't verify. Pero, yun din yung, yung idea, no? The, the fake news is only um, spreading because there are less or critical thinkers in our society no na hindi nagpa-process ng or hindi tinitingnan yung isang information critically no kaya nagpo-propagate ang fake news kasi ko sir Jambi totoo lang kung uh, we are all critically processing information um, fake news hindi yan basta-basta mag-spread kasi tayo din naman yung nagse-spread ng information eh di ba so that's why uh, very important pa rin ang uh, yung uh, yung idea ng critical thinking 
um, on 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 the production of information and knowledge. No? So as we produce information and knowledge, we also have to be, be crit critical on the purpose, the the the, the idea within that um, knowledge. No, okay. And of course, uh, we went to creativity, Sir Jambi. Ito na ngayon yung uh, application okay, ng, uh, ng critical thinking, ng collaboration, kung saan um, we are inviting everyone to always um, to look at things in a different angle. Okay? So like I mentioned ni Sir uh, Adrian last time, it's not just about going out of the box because that's just, again, one perspective. Okay, going out okay. of the box. The perspective from the inside the box and going outside of the box is just two perspectives. What we want is actually a, a 360 perspective of, of things, no? um, of um, declining okay, uh, mediocrity among our students. Okay? Um, kasi um, kapag naging, nag-develop tayo ng mga, mga mediocre students na uh, sanay na sanay dun sa okay na yan or uh, sanay na sanay dun sa basta, okay na yan, ganun, uh, then we will never develop uh, a society that's progressive and uh, competent against our neighbors, no? Sir Jambi, yung, yung Japan, yung uh, Korea, um, uh, they, they're very progressive countries simply because they they always look at things differently. No, uh, example, natatawa tayo minsan dun sa mga products sa Japan, Sir Jambi, nakakita ka naman ng mga, ng mga unusual products na pinuproduce sa Japan. Di ba? Ang like, dami niya. Pwede na kaya namin. Yun yung, yung sinasabi nila na ano, things we never thought we needed. Yes. And you never thought na pwedeng gawin ano possible siya uh, maging produkto. Pero that's one way of uh, of of, of uh, Japan showing us na they're not always com compliant, no. Yun, well, we don't want naman kay um siguro yun din medyo kailangan ting i-balance, no. Uh, of course, we don't want naman deviant people na always uh, going against the flow or lalo na sa rules and policies ng society natin. But we want our people who are willing to go um go against the flow of, uh, for example, um, 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 ideas, okay, and uh, willing to sacrifice them th th their time no, to uh, to push for these ideas and uh, make this come true or help our society. So, so siguro yun po yung uh, very important, this idea ng creativity. It's not just about art, Sir John, we verified that already uh, our session last uh, last couple of sat uh, uh, Saturday, two Saturday, Saturdays ago, no? that it's not just about creativity, it's not just about uh, creative expression in the arts, okay? Uh, the creativity in the 21st century learning is about um, uh, uh, looking at ideas uh, in different ways okay? uh, and trying to produce something new out of it. Okay? So being invention or innovation. Okay? And uh, of course, the last one natin is communication. So we ended up with um, the ability to express ideas. Kasi, Sir Jambi, ito yung ating um, societal um, responsibility no? um, as part of this uh, 4C na uh, whatever we produce no in a collaborative setup whatever we produce uh in in creation of new knowledge okay and uh all the innovations and inventions we ought to uh to, to share that to other people and uh we can only share these uh things no um uh, if we are uh, able to communicate properly or express these ideas properly and plus again uh on the other hand um ideas uh grew more no uh, or develop further uh through proper communication kasi mas dumadami yung yung tao that can contribute to the development of these ideas. Okay, so say po, Sir Jambi, we wrap up our September series oh. and our, uh, yes, our uh, 21st century learning series. So maraming maraming salamat po ulit sa ating mga viewers who have constantly, no? Uh, meron tayong mga completers, Sir Jambi. Uh, so, baka sa mas kompleto pa sila kaysa sa akin. Yeah. <laughs> Sir Jambi, baka sa Monday, no? I-recognize natin yung mga completers natin na okay, talaga. Okay, okay. Baka wala sa Monday. Yes. Meron tayong... O, oh, Sir yes. Franco. Anong pagkakala uh, na? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Catch up Monday. Okay, so we'll be giving away some uh, leather mats for those who are uh, in this oh, wow. day. Yes, magbibigay po tayo ng mga leather mats no para po yung mga tables nyo uh, are uh, may may leather no para hindi nagsislip yung mga computers nyo. We'll giving away some uh, for Pero sa Monday ito sabihin ko ano yung mga uh, qualifications para makapagpadala tayo ng leather okay. mats sa kanila. Sir so, Franco, yun. mabilis yep. lang. Um uh, kasi habang nag-uusap tayo kanina, mayroon dumaan na isang comment and uh, baka kasi makalimutan ko and Sobrang naniniwala ko. It's something that we also can look into. Um, 
computer care o kaya laptop care, isa daw yun sa ano, nagiging problema ngayon ng mga teachers. Siyempre, hindi naman humihito yung gamit, di ba? Tuloy-tuloy yung gamit, tuloy-tuloy yung pag-print. Medyo, ano, ngayon na nararamdaman ng mga laptops yung nag-overheat. Ano bang kailangan nilang gawin? Uh, yan. So, baka meron tayong ma- mahingan na so, uh, tips, tulong. Sir, Tampi, may ano, nakaschedule na yan. Kakaschedule yeah, ko lang. Five, sec- five seconds ago. <laughs> five seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba, siyempre, alam na alam natin. Sa Pero Sir Javi, tama yan. Uh, uh, in one of these days, no, to, uh, we'll be bringing in some technical um, uh, personnel. Medyo madami naman po tayong kilala dyan. So, uh, we'll, we'll put that uh, definitely no, in, uh, in our lineup um, uh, of our webinars. No, technical um, trainings no, for taking care of your laptops, computers. Okay. Okay, so, mga nag uh, online distance learning. So, we'll do that, Sir Javi. Uh, for sure. Yeah. And Sir Franco, isa pang nakita ko kanina, uh, a comment, uh, a gentleman was asking about evaluation link now. So we would like to remind you, our dear viewers, na number one, evaluation link will be given at the end of the webinar. Malapit na malapit na po tayong matapos. And number two, after answering the evaluation, uh, which would be our basis for uh, preparing your certificates, kindly expect your certificates to be sent to your email uh, within five to seven days. So, make sure din po na tama yung email na mailalagay natin. Tama yung spelling ng pangalan na mailalagay natin. Ayan. Kasi po, we've, we've had countless experiences in uh, the past na nagkakaaberya yung sa ano, sa certificate. So, siguro din, double check nyo lang po before you send. Saka libre po ah, libre po yung ating ano, yung ating certificate. Ayan, inuulit po namin, libre po yung certificate. Huwag po kayo maniniwala in case may magpabayad sa inyo, it is free of charge. Okay, so just for a while lang, no? Um, uh, i-prepare ko lang yung ating link. Ah, sige. Okay, ako muna. So dear teachers, yan po, uh, susugan po na lang din yung mga sinabi kanina ni Sir Gary at saka ni Sir Franco. Perhaps one more thing that we need to remember about communication, especially in uh, the social media, um, in the time of social media, uh, prudence po. Ayan. Prudence would mean na uh, hindi porket tama yung sasabihin mo, sasabihin mo na. Hindi porque truthful yung sasabihin mo, sasabihin mo na. Uh, ang tanong, kind ba siya? Nakabubuti ba siya? Okay? Are you using the proper venue para i-express yung bagay na yun? Kasi there's, there's no, there's no, there really is no harm in correcting someone else. Okay? Kailangan din yun. Pero how do you correct that person? sa harap ba ng maraming tao or what words do you use to correct that person uh, ano ba condescending ba yung pagsabi mo so prudence wag po natin kalimutan especially when we deal with our students when we deal with our uh, co-teachers wag po natin kalimutan na mahalaga rin na things are expressed at the right time with the proper words Ayan, para we can communicate better with each other. Yan na po. Success ang ating evaluation link. bit.ly slash 4Cs final. Ayan. Tulad po ng sinabi ni Sir Franco, ito na po ang final webinar natin for September. Ayan. Huwag po kayo magalala. Um, hindi po tumitigil si Sir Franco. Hindi na po natutulog yan. I can attest to that. Hindi po natutulog si Sir Franco. Uh, makapag-prepare lang po ng mga webinars para sa inyo. Ayan. So kayo rin po sana, uh, if, if you know, if you think you know more compared to other people about something, huwag po kayo mahiya na mag-ano. Huwag po kayo mahiya na mag-share. Ayan. Libre naman po. Libre naman po yung pag-share. Or if you want, kaagapay to help you in uh, sharing what you know, 
kontakin niyo lang po kami uh, mapag-uusapan naman po natin 'yan. Ma-schedule natin kayo, matulungan natin kayo and so on and so forth. Oh, need permission daw sir. What does that Guys, mean? Guys, hindi kaka-edit ko lang po. Yan. Paki-refresh na lang teachers. So, pa-refresh na lang po. Hindi na daw kailangan ng permission. Yes. Good. You have thank been permitted you. already. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Sir Franco. Ayan. Alam ko, pagod na pagod ka na. Meron, may webinar ka pa kaninang umaga, tama? Yes, oo. Medyo back-to-back tayo. May webinar kahapon, this morning, tsaka yan, this afternoon. So, medyo wow. naipon na ako ng PLDT ko. It's a jambi na. That's a, that's a commitment we have to make eh, uh, cool. for our teachers. No? Uh, because uh, yung training kasi natin should be more than uh, providing things. The consistency of uh, of uh, assistance to our teachers. Kasi lalo na ngayon yung, di ba? For, for our teachers to always know that we're here and uh, we will always be uh, in assistance to uh, to to you to all of you no? so again maraming salamat po and happy teachers day Yay! and happy congratulations po sa inyo lahat sa mga magdi-deploy po ng mga module sa Monday ngayon pa lang po congratulations na kaagad um uh, alam po namin lahat po ng paghihirap nyo will always um, produce success dahil sa mga students yun. So maraming salamat and uh, we'll see you again uh, next time. Yes, thank you dear teachers. Kahit po anong sabihin ng ibang tao, you're doing a great job. Salamat po.